Hi guys, welcome. Today I will show you how to make this rainbow cake topper. So for this project, we need the clay extruder, the most important part, gum paste or fondant and some tie loose in the rainbow colors. We need a floral wire, some sticks, um, confectioner's glue. I chose this, I, we need something round so that we can shape the rainbow um, over it. So anything will do about this size, this is about three inches will be fine. And, um, and that's it, let's get started. First, we will start by bending our wire. This is gonna be the extra added support to make sure that even if something happens and our rainbow cracks, that we will not end up with two pieces. Okay, so I am going to start with the bottom color, which is purple. And I have that ready. I am using um, not the widest, not the biggest um, circle that comes with the extruder, but the second one. So it's, um, it's still large enough, but it's a little smaller. So this is where I, I want my round shape for. So I'm going to shape the rainbow over it. Um, half of it is going to be following the curve. And can you see? And the bottom is going to be straight. Just like the shape of a rainbow. And now we switch colors. Blue, blue will follow. Okay, and here I'm going to use some of the confectioner's glue and I'm going to paint the whole side. I am also going to stick this in one of the, in both ends. Now some green. What I am doing with this, if you have fondant, just make sure and add a little bit of the tie loose powder so that you make it um, more flexible and that it hardens um, faster and stronger because um, this is gonna be standing up. You want it to be very sturdy. So next color, green. When I put the stick in, it deformed the blue a little bit, so we're gonna use the green to kind of cover that up and give the appearance that it's, they are the same exact size. So if that happened to you, which is pretty normal, you can correct that now. Now, yellow. Okay. So right now is when I'm going to add the wire so that it adds support to the structure. Now I just have to find it. Oh. So the same thing, I'm going to paint it with the glue and then I'm gonna put the wire, make sure that it's shaped, it's shaped right and then I'm gonna cover the wire with the yellow. So I'm gonna put the wire pretty much right smack in the middle. Not too high, not too low so you can't see it on either side. Okay. 
The reason why I add the wire is because I've had it several times I've had it that I make something and then I let it dry for several days and then somehow something happens and they shift a little bit and then it cracks and it breaks in half. So this um, makes it so that if it cracks, it's still savable. You can just cover up the crack and the piece remains in one, in one piece. The piece remains in one piece. Okay. Yellow, now orange. Same thing, paint the side, glue it. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing with the pink and that will be it. There, that's it, so now we just have to let, be patient, let it sit there and dry, I would say at least 24 hours. And then it will be ready. It will be ready to be placed on top of any cake. Okay, so this is the finished product. This has had a couple of days to dry out, so it is nice and sturdy. So I can just uh, cut my, my um, sticks to the height of the cake and then stick it in there and it is ready to go. Um, if you like working with the plate, the clay extruder, um, check out my other video on how to make sprinkles. Um, it's really fun, so give that a try. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will show you a lot of more fun stuff to do. Thanks.